Greetings and once again, it's a joy and a pleasure to come to you today and spend a few moments with you and pray with you. We trust that this week, as we've been meditating on the passage in John 15, verses 1 through 8, about the wine, the wine dresser, and the branches, that you are being encouraged in your walk with God. In John 15, verses 5 and 6, the Lord Jesus said, I am the wine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, but without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burnt. The point that Jesus wants to bear on our hearts in, in, in these verses as he continues to uh, use this illustration of the wine and the branches is this. He says, he is the wine, we are the branches. And he says, look, if you abide in him, if we stay connected to him and he and us, that is, we have a connected, dynamic, living relationship with him where the nourishment, the nutrients, the source of life is coming from him and into us. He says, then we will bear much fruit. So the secret to fruitfulness, one we saw earlier, the involves the pruning process which the wine dresser administers in our lives, which the Father administers to us. Another secret of fruitfulness is just abiding in Him, living out of that dynamic, that relationship with Him. He says, you will bear much fruit if you stay connected to me. But on the contrary, He does warn us that, look, without Him, we can do nothing. Now, as we said yesterday, there's much activity we can do without Him, in the sense that we could go about doing a lot of things in our own natural strength and understanding and capacity, but all of that amounts to nothing. So in our understanding and in our hearts, we say, I need to stay connected to the wine because only in that place of connectedness and out of that place of connectedness comes fruitfulness and comes true activity that is fruitful for the kingdom of God. So our priority is that connectedness with Him, that place of fellowship with Him, that place of relationship with Him, that place of intimacy with Him. What does this mean in everyday life? It means, first of all, we pursue relationship with Him. Second, it means we pursue doing His will. Third, it means we pursue drawing from His strength, our dependence on Him, the resource He provides, the resourcing that He provides for our lives. And when we have this relationship, when we have this, uh, this drawing out of that relationship, when we have this dependence on Him, then there is a vital union, a, a meaningful union, with Christ and all activity has meaning and all activity flows out of that relationship and that activity will bear much fruit. So whatever you're doing in life as a student, as a professional, at a, as a homemaker, whatever activity you're doing, follow this model. Out of that place of union with Christ comes activity which bears fruit, which becomes fruitful for his kingdom and for His glory. Let's pray. Lord, we pray and ask that you will unveil to us the secret of fruitfulness it comes out of abiding in you and yielding to the pruning the Father brings in our lives. May we bear much fruit through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.